Oh, hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Cool Remy. And today I'm gonna show you my five minute real time back exercise routine. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So for this back routine, we're gonna start off with a 45 second warm up, and I'll talk a little bit more as we get going. So starting with the warm up, let's just do a seated rotation. This is just kind of a continuous motion just to get that back loosened up a little bit. So instead of for doing reps um, and sets, we're just going to go for time. So we're going to do 30 seconds, take a little break and do 30 seconds again. Let's do a little thoracic side bend. Again, just continuous motion to get everything loosened up. Um, and so in that time period, you just go at your own pace for those 30 seconds. You can start off with just a little bit and then as you progress, then you can do more, but you don't have to keep up with me, or if you've done this several times, you can go a little bit faster than me. Um, and then some T's just to stretch everything out a little bit. And then we're gonna lay down right and go into pelvic tilts. So the pelvic tilts are just rotating that tilt, going into a posterior or flattening out that belly to get the posterior pelvic tilt. We're not using our feet, we're using these muscles to get it going. So I'm not pushing with my feet to get my back flat. I'm rotating that pelvis to get it flat. Now I'm just doing a continuous right now to kind of show you, but the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna try and hold it for about three to five seconds, and then you can progress that hold as you get stronger. But make sure you're using your core muscles and your pelvic muscles instead of using your legs. So really kind of flattening out. It's not a big movement, but it's a great movement to get everything moving in there and really exercising those muscles. So again, holding it for about three to five seconds and then relaxing. So the next one is going to be going into bridging. Bridging is kind of the next progression of the pelvic tilt. So now we're coming all the way up. Make sure you go slow and controlled. You're not just bouncing up and down. Almost imagine you're going one segment at a time of your spine. So I'm just rolling up and then slowly coming back down. So you don't have to stop at each segment, but that's what you wanna kind of feel that feeling of rolling your back up and down. That's really what's gonna get the exercise working really well. If you're just starting out doing these, if you can't get all the way up like this, that's okay. You can just go as high as you comfortably can. So like maybe right here. A lot of times people will ask me, well, aren't bridges extension exercises? They're not because you're just going up into a neutral position. Since my hips are bent now, I'm just going to get them into a straightened position. We're not going into extension. So if you feel like you're arching up like that, see then all the pressure goes to my neck. So you're not going into that back extension. You're coming up into a neutral position and then slowly coming back down. If you feel like your hamstrings are trying to cramp on you, bring them up a little bit, their heels towards your bottom, and that should take the hamstrings out just a little bit and work your glutes a little bit more. And then nice and slow coming back down. So then the next one, we're gonna roll over onto our, our stomachs. And then I'm just gonna do one side for the 30 seconds and then one side for the other 30 seconds. But you can kind of break it up if you want to. Try and keep your legs straight and then keep your um, toes pointed, that helps keep them straight, and then just come up. So you're not lifting up, your hips aren't coming up off of the bed or the couch or the floor. You're just bringing that leg up, so it's probably not gonna be high. Make sure you're comfortable, so you don't want your back to be hurting while you're doing this, so if you need to lie all the way down, that's fine. Um, I'm just propping up one, because it's comfortable for me, and two, so I can kind of talk to you a little bit better. But just, again, that leg doesn't have to go high, so you're not rolling over to get it up. You're just lifting it a little bit. My knee might be bent just a little bit, but you wanna try and keep that knee as straight as possible if you can. And then just switching to the other side. So just up and down. And you might be able to see a little bit of a difference on each side. Um, you know, sometimes someone has a stronger leg or maybe there's an injury. So you just, again, kind of go at your own pace do what's most comfortable for you. Sometimes if you lie down, 
you can get it a little bit higher. So now we're going to go up into quadruped or all fours. And so this time we're going to bend our knee and kind of lift our foot towards the ceiling. So this is going to get your glute muscles a lot, which is a nice workout. So keeping that knee bent, foot towards the ceiling, and just almost pumping it upwards. Again, I'm not coming, I'm not rolling up. I'm trying to keep my back nice and flat, and I'm just pumping that leg up. So, you know, try not to arch down or arch back and then sag down. Try and keep that back in a neutral position and just gently pump up and down. Again, if you need to take a break in between or you just need to do one at a time and come back down, you can. Or if you want to alternate back and forth while you're, do where you're doing it, you can do it that way as well. So again, kind of whatever works for you. If you want to bring that knee all the way down and then come up to get a little bit more motion in it, you can do that. Or a range, you can do that as well. Um, sometimes I like the pumps a little bit better because you're keeping your glutes activated more. But if you want to come back down, get a little pause, go back up, you can certainly do that. So then the next one is just going to be a bird dog or opposite arm, opposite leg. So it's kind of like it sounds um, when the bird dog is pointing towards the bird. Uh, one leg sometimes goes out and the other one comes up. So that's why it's called that. So I'm going to alternate and then opposite arm, opposite leg. So same thing. Try and keep your back pretty flat. You know, imagine like there's a cup on your back and you don't want to spill the water and it is a little bit harder on a squishier surface like this so you know if that's too hard for you if you're comfortable getting on the floor it might be easier to start off doing it on the floor but again when I come up I'm not lifting my leg up I'm trying to keep everything in a nice neutral position when I do that if your wrists get a little bit sore you can kind of do them on your fist instead and still do it that way because sometimes I know with your hands bent that will get your wrist just a little bit sore. And again you don't have to go as fast you can stop and reset each time. Take a little break if you need to. These are a little harder than they look. So there you have it. That was my five minute real time back exercise pain routine. If you'd like to help support my channel by becoming a paid member, click on the join button or click on the link in the description below. You'll get extra perks, isn't that right? Yeah, sneak peeks and what else? Just a whole lot of other fun stuff. So remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.